can my antenna reach 400 meters? Keep it not so simple today. Now I've taken the, um, the whole setup out to the um, suburb and I'm, I've set up the antenna as you can see on the video on the remote end using um, the RTX 50 with the battery and the MIMO 417 from pointing antennas um, to set up my, my base station. So that is the remote system that I'm connecting to on the other side of the expressway on the hill far behind me. It is about 420 meters from there to here. I've connected this whole setup here as you can see on the video. So I have the antenna, I have the aluminium foil covered one connected to the alpha card as my Wi-Fi receiver on my laptop. Um, just want to see if that actually works. Um, so the first thing I do is just connect and um, you can see the signal is, is quite strong. Um, and because I have a connection, what's more there to do than to actually just do a speed test to see what I get. Now, I did the speed test, um, as you can see on the screen there. Download is 121, upload is 98. Um, and well, the, what was it, ping? 20 milliseconds, so there's really nothing wrong with this whole setup. It's um, working absolutely perfectly over this clean line of sight, but 420 meters away from the um, base itself. So the principle works, the antenna works great. How well it works compared to not having it, that's the next test that I will do in a few minutes. Just one thing, I can't take actual screen recordings on the lap because I am switching between apps and trying to see the connections and so forth. So the actual test itself, I'm just taking a screenshot at the end of the test, but I have my GoPro on my screen so you can see some of the activity. Um, and then at the end the screenshot itself. So the next step, now that I've done this, it works and there's nothing more that I could prove other than the antenna works really well is to disconnect the whole system so that the laptop only works on its own basic Wi-Fi antenna and its own basic Wi-Fi receiver and see if there's a significant difference in the connection to the um, RTX 50 with the MIMO 417 that is 400 meters away. So let's do that quickly. Now, just yank it out. All Wi-Fi I can have now is through the Wi-Fi, the laptop here. See what I get. It says no connection. Come on, look for it. It's connecting. It's, it sees its presence. It's connecting. It's connecting to the 3D printed network. I'm not going to take a screenshot, but it is connecting now. using the um, alpha, uh, not, not the alpha card, but the unit itself. It's, it has a connection, took a while, got a connection. So let's go to speedtest.net and do a repeat of the test to see what I get because of the connectivity being slightly different to what I had before. Well, <laughs> it's, it's not really happy with me. That's it dropped connection again. So it dropped the connection. It's it's there, but it's thereabouts. It's not really connecting using using the laptop link, which shows you the difference between that antenna and the Alpha card, all having the laptops. And it's, it's actually incredible. <laughs> hey, this is I'm pretty pleased here. Okay, it's not working. So let's just see again. I just want to see if I still can see the presence of that network. Nah, not really. It it kind of can't see the network at all. It's not seeing the um, 3D printed antenna. Um, there you go, it, it comes up at the bottom, with the 2.4, it comes up with the 2.4. Of course, 2.4 is a lower frequency, so it propagates further, so you will get um, more likely to get the 2.4 gigahertz frequency working over a longer range, which is fine, that is what it is, we know that's true, but because we're trying to stretch and see how far we can go, I am specifically using 5.8, um, but, just, just to do a closing test, I'm going to go back, plug in the alpha card again. Because we now know the laptop can, cannot see the, the 5.8 gig wave network there. Okay. Ah, it's already connected again. It's connected. It is connected. It is quite happy to see the, um, the remote system. And I'll just repeat the test again. Uh, reload, go. See, I could keep going on and on and on about the same test, but really it is working. It's working with the antenna with the Alpha, it is not working without it. There we go, we've got a connection. Download, oh well. 100 and, yep, still, 
same order of magnitude, 115, 116. Okay, long story short, um, probably won't use all the material I just shot, but in essence, the antenna works great. It works much better than the actual antenna that's in the laptop. As expected, you have an aperture that is literally, I know it's a 20 centimeter diameter aperture with a good feed in the middle compared to the small laptop antenna. Now, it's MIMO in the laptop, it is not MIMO yet on the antenna. There's a lot of stuff that we can now do to make this further, but the proof is here. It works, you can get a connection. What did I get? 113 down, 97 up. That's it. I'm really chuffed. Thanks for watching. Now I am on fire to get the rest of this antenna working. Um, as I said, this antenna at the moment, I'm proving it works for Wi-Fi. The antenna itself actually works from about 2.2 gigahertz up to well, 7.2 gigahertz. It goes beyond that, it goes to 8 gigahertz, but um, it's used for Wi-Fi in this case because this is what I can prove, this is how I can demonstrate it. But the antenna works for any application in that frequency band. The concept of 3D printer antennas, it's something that is just growing and it's going to grow from strength to strength. So using this as a demonstrator, absolutely something I am quite um, keen on. But um, to use this for anything that's um, drone mounted technologies or any other technologies, the, the concept of 3D printer antennas is going to be phenomenal. Thanks for watching. I'm Chuff. I'm ready for the week ahead. I'll um, see you again soon. Cheers, bye-bye.